Welcome to EPC land. In this video, we are going to discuss four different sections which are available on epcland.com. First one is courses, second is blogs, third is quiz, fourth is short YouTube shorts. So let us talk about uh, each and every uh, element. Let's start with the, the courses. If you scroll on the home page of epcland.com, you will see popular categories. So if you look at these, these courses are categorized into four categories. First one is if first course is uh, basics of piping engineering. Second one is piping layout engineering. Third one is on piping material engineering. Fourth one is piping stress engineering. So these four courses covers all these four aspects of piping engineering. Fifth course which comprises of all these four uh, courses. This is a complete course on piping engineering. So all the content which is there in the in these four courses that is there in course number five. Then there is a second category which covers all the add-ons which are in addition to category one. Third category is covering the short courses which are from these courses only but these are short ones then fourth category is free courses there are seven free courses which are available on this platform you can log in and you can access to these courses for free so let us see how these courses are available in category one if you see here only on home page modules of piping engineering basics layout material and stress these four topics if you if you click over this you can directly go there and you can add to cart and once you make the payment you will get the access to all the content which is there inside the course so if you for example if you talk about layout engineering there are 10 modules 13 hours of content is there which covers how the piping layout is done in piping engineering it covers basics of design layout development which talks about plot plan and all then column piping and design pump layout and design compressor layout and design pipe rack piping heat exchanger piping and design tank farm underground piping critical activities for example 3d model specification model reviews material takeoff piping ga nozzle dimension nozzle orientation then isometric so all these content will be available with you once you enroll to the course Similarly, piping material engineering course is there, which talks about all the five major modules of piping material engineering. Similarly, if you talk about piping basics of piping, so it covers a lot of things. Elements of piping engineering, life cycle of oil and gas project, pipes, valves, flanges, strainers, steam traps, cores and standards, pipe wall thickness, then deliverables. So these are the foundation of piping engineering. So we need to go through all these courses along with stress piping stress analysis. It covers 34 lectures and 14 hours of content. This is also available. Then there is a complete course which covers all these four courses in single course. Then if you scroll down, you will find few add on courses in addition to category one which we have covered here. In addition to this category two is there, which talks about many important aspects. For example, piping pipe wall thickness. Okay. In this wall thickness, we have to know a lot of things about so many codes, 31.1, 31.3, 31.12. These are the codes. They have uh, different equations, different parameters, which are used to calculate the pipe wall thickness so first we'll try to understand what are these codes and what are various differences then we'll try to calculate we'll try to understand the parameters with respect to 31.1 31.3 31.12 then we'll calculate pipe wall thickness for high pressure piping then external pressure also this will be covering all the closes which are required to calculate the pipe wall thickness then in the end with respect to all these closes, this 
pipe thickness will be actually calculated with few examples so actual calculation and comparison of parameters and calculated thickness will be there then piping material specification this course is divided into 10 parts four are already published fourth part covers flanges it talks about all about flanges which are there in pms how to develop a pms with respect to flanges this course talks about that in third part we have covered the fittings with respect to pms it talks about a lot of things about fittings then in second part we have covered the pipe element all about pipes in pms then pipe branch reinforcement pad strength calculation this is again one of the courses then in first part of pms we have covered the basics what is pms what are the various elements what are the various inputs fluid list we have talked in detail so these are few of the courses which are available in category 2 in addition to category 1 which we were talking about here so these two categories covers a lot of things then let us talk about category 3 here if you talk about category 3 we have short courses again it this is extract of uh, category 1 only piping deliverables and non deliverables so a lot of things are covered here in this course this is around six hours of course and lot of information with respect to interaction with others first we'll discuss what are the various deliverables and non deliverables how manner estimation is done then a lot of deliverables and non deliverables are also covered this is again a short course related to material it talks about the basics of metallurgy for example the basic crystal structure volume occupied different type of voids available fcc bcc structure comparison of all these then how these basics are implemented in material engineering solubility of carbon weldability hardness ductile behavior then testing metallurgical test destructive testing non destructive testing visual inspection and working so this is all covered in these courses then there is again one short course with respect to elements of piping engineering this is again 4.5 uh, hours of a course and 36 lectures are there which talks about all the basics related to piping engineering then this course is all about valves classification and types it talks about definitions classification isolation valve regulation valves non return valve valve operability and accessibility so this is something which we have covered in this course now let us talk about free courses this is category 4 and there are few free courses for example cover letter why and what we have to do when we are applying for jobs how to prepare this uh, cover letter and in the end we'll prepare actual cover letter based on real time uh, situation then it is a course related to excel microsoft teams email etiquettes then piping engineering fundamentals introduction to process industry these are all free courses okay so this is all about four categories which are available on this platform related to courses these are the courses which are available and you can go through each and every course and you can enhance your knowledge with respect to piping second one is shorts these are youtube short this is free uh, content which is available on YouTube most of the fundamentals are covered in less than 20 seconds so you can click over this and you can go to you can check the shorts and the, this is all related to piping engineering only third section is Quizland if you go to Quizland there is there are a lot of quizzes related to piping engineering these are all multiple choice questions you can select the piping engineering quiz and you can answer it you will receive the answers right on screen once you complete the quiz also you will get the result on your email also so this will be like learning from questions so that is the concept here so this is also free of cost you can log in and you can get access to all these quizzes now comes to blogs technical blogs this is the fourth section which is covered here 
if you look at the blog section and for example you talk about one of the blogs which is talking about uh, the codes and standards so first of all there will be a video you can go to video and you can listen to the content below there will be content which is covered here if you see the content is covered the short uh, blog is there about this topic and there is a video also this is something which will be very helpful to learn about piping engineering concepts so this is how the blogs are covered right so this is all about uh, four sections which we were planning to discuss which are available on this platform you can log you can register and once you log in you will get access to all these four sections so i'm sure this is going to be very good learning experience and it will add value to your knowledge so i would request let us create a professional community which is meaningful which is useful and you can learn refresh and record the fundamentals